Welcome! This is my review of Transformers Animated Dead End. Now Dead End here is a repaint of the Transformers uh, Animated Jazz. Unfortunately I do not have that figure, uh, but I can show you Generation 1 Jazz and basically tell you that uh, the colors you see here are present on the Animated Jazz uh, version. So instead of having the uh, maroon color, you'd have the white, and of course you'd have the um, blue and red racing stripes. Uh, so that's basically what the, the Jazz figure would look like if I had it. Uh, but here's the vehicle mode for Dead End, and looking pretty cool. Uh, you've got these uh, really gnarly, awesome looking uh, side exit exhaust pipes here on both sides. Looking really cool. And uh, one thing I like about this particular vehicle mode is if you look at the headlights, it may not show up on camera, but basically it's a translucent plastic that's colored with sort of a, uh, oh, I'd say sort of a burgundy color to match the actual color of the car. Uh, so it's not exactly just uh, clear, uh, but it does have some color to it uh, as well as being translucent. Uh, same thing with the taillights here, really cool. Uh, same effect there. Uh, and of course you got the nice silver paint on the actual rims. Uh, racing stripe going down the length of the car. Uh, Decepticon symbol. And here's a look at the undercarriage of the vehicle. I'll hide his face there for now. Um, with that said, I'm going to take a look at the instructions. Uh, as I mentioned before, each of these uh, Transformers animated Decepticons came with their own custom instruction sheet. Uh, this is for Dead End. Of course this is the very same uh, transformation sequence for uh, Transformers uh, Animated Jazz. You have that. And you do have uh, a uh, tech card uh, with a picture of Dead End there. Uh, his bio and his tech specs. So, transformation is really simple. Uh, you want to grab onto the rear of the vehicle and fold out, and these will become the legs. Really, really simple. Fold out the uh, feet right there. You simply fold out like that. Separate the legs and just straighten out the legs like so. And you've got the lower half done. Uh, moving up top, you want to take the side of the vehicle separate them out and as you can see there these become the arms. Uh, the wheels and tires will fold inward like that uh, towards the center of the vehicle and you want to fold down this piece of plastic here and you need to get this tire like that. Uh, once you got that all in position you simply grab onto the front section of the vehicle and fold it down. It uh, clicks into place and now you just need to straighten out the uh, the arms. Now there is a little bit of a, uh, a subtlety to the way that the arm transforms. I missed this. Uh, basically you want to rotate this whole panel around like so and do that on both sides so that you don't have this big piece of plastic here sticking out in front. Instead that becomes more of the shoulder area uh, as you can see there. And these will rotate around like this. Now I do kind of like leaving them like this because what they look like to me right here is they look like they're uh, forearm mounted uh, blasters on each on each forearm there. So you can leave it like that, but technically, whoops, technically you're supposed to rotate this uh, to that position there. And. Uh, We'll do that on both sides here. Rotates around. And there you have Transformers animated dead end in robot mode. A little 360 rotation here for you. And um, take a look at the head sculpt. Uh, it does have light piping, but you can see he's sporting a goatee and a mustache, 
which uh, the original Jazz did, I believe. And you can see there's the clear uh, translucent plastic. Well, not clear, but uh, uh, burgundy colored translucent plastic on the back for the light piping. And uh, pretty nice head sculpt. Um, articulation. Well, of course, the head is on a ball joint, as you would expect. You can see he looks side to side. He can kind of, he can kind of actually tilt his head just a little bit like that, kind of like that. So that's uh, you get a wide range of posability for the head. Uh, the shoulders themselves are on ball joints, so there's really nothing really hindering that articulation there, as you can see. Uh, swivel at the bicep, and you actually have a double bend or two points of articulation at the elbow. Um, uh, due to transformation, but but as a result, uh, articulation at the elbow is great, and then you have the hands themselves here on ball joints, uh, swivel at the waist, and ball joints at the hips slash leg. Uh, leg can go back out, forward, and out to the side like that. You can do the splits, uh, swivel at the thigh, bend at the knee, and just a little bit of wiggle here. Uh, at the toe slash foot. Uh, so the weapons he has are nunchucks. And you can see if you pull these out here, uh, what they are are the uh, tips of the exhaust pipes attached with a actual real, um, real cord. Or I, I don't know what you would call this, but it's actually not plastic. It's actually real uh, material. Uh, and he has... Uh, Basically has a, a complete a, a complete set. He has one for each hand, and the way you just uh, put those in is you want to put them in like this, and come from the bottom, and then you can hold his uh, nunchucks like that. And same thing with the other hand as well. Um, it's it's all right. I guess it fits his character. Um, I guess. Uh, the original Jazz maybe had uh, some martial arts skills, although I thought that was uh, Prowl. Anyways, these are all right. Um, I'm not really, I'm probably not posing them in the, in the greatest way possible, but you, know, you get the idea. They can be held in the hand. Uh, so I'll go ahead and take that out for now. So overall, uh, I actually really like this uh, transformer. Uh, as you saw, it's a, it's, a, it's a simple transformation, really easy. Uh, I like the colors on this. Uh, this this burgundy sort of color here is really nice. Uh, so there you go. This is a look at Transformers animated dead end. Um, and I do like the way that the uh, the wheels and the tires here fold in to basically fill in the uh, chest area and basically sort of partially hide those uh, front wheels and tires. So that's really nice. All right, so this is the third figure. I've looked at uh, Breakdown. Uh, yesterday I looked at the uh, drag strip uh, repaint of RC, and today we take a look. We took a look at the uh, uh, the dead end figure. So next up, we're going to take a look at Wild Rider. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the review, and I'll catch you later.